Will AI replace cybersecurity jobs? I'm sure this is a question top of mind for many of you who are currently looking to get into cybersecurity and for most cybersecurity professionals who have been keeping up with all the news on OpenAI and ChatGPT. Personally, as someone who has used ChatGPT, I honestly think that it has been a huge benefit and has made me more productive and more efficient. But I do want to go back to the important question of whether or not ChatGPT and other tools developed on top of OpenAI are going to replace cybersecurity jobs in the future. So I actually recently read a very interesting Medium article on this specific topic, and I'll link it down in the description as well if you want to check it out. But first things first, is there a future for cybersecurity jobs with so much growth happening in the AI space? In fact, could AI completely replace place a role like an SOC analyst role or a security analyst role where you're typically going to be looking for anomalies or spikes or anything out of the ordinary in the different logging systems that your company may that companies may have and that technically could definitely be something that an AI tool could look for or if you just go on ChatGPT right now and ask it hey how do I secure my company's network and it'll already give you a list of things that you can do to to be more secure but imagine a tool built on top of OpenAI that already has sensors in your environment knows exactly what apps what hardware what software what firmware you have their version numbers and tells you exactly where the vulnerabilities are and it's able to patch them give you suggestions on the spot based on what your environment looks like now a tool like that i think could definitely be possible especially in the near future with so many different tools and sectors taking advantage of open ai and i definitely think that this could definitely take over certain skill sets in cybersecurity. and i say skill sets and not necessarily roles because as someone who is currently working as a cybersecurity analyst there are definitely parts of my job that could be automated i'm going to be very honest and frank to saying that right now for example if i get a vulnerability report and i'm looking through it i'm seeing what needs to be remediated i'm following a written process or procedure that my company has for hey this is what to do when you see xyz type of vulnerability hey these are the teams to reach out to or create a ticket for to be able to patch or update whatever it is that whatever software or hardware that has a vulnerability i'm very sure that this could be automated by using some kind of ai bot that will automatically create that ticket for me check through these vulnerabilities check to see which ones need to be remediated check to see which ones may have active exploits in the wild and maybe there's a person at the end who will fact check their work after it's done so as you can see that part of my job that i currently do almost 100% besides the checking part, so let's say 95%, take over part of my job. But there are definitely other parts of your job as a security professional that may be a little bit harder to, to automate, like dealing with ticketing queues, working on cross-functional projects, talking to your customers, which I don't know about you, but most customers that I know, if they're paying for a service, they likely want to talk to a real human and not to an AI bot, unless they're really, really good, which you know, could definitely be possible in the future. But this is something that I want to call out. I don't think that specific roles in cybersecurity are going to be completely cut off, but instead I think that certain skill sets may not be as needed or may not be as relevant anymore. And instead you'll pivot your work into other areas in cybersecurity that I'm sure your company will be happy to expand upon, especially with the growing attack perimeter of most companies nowadays. Cybersecurity teams are always looking to expand into different areas of securing their environment. And I actually think that ChatGPT will actually be a benefit to a cybersecurity professional because number one, they are taking away the boring, could be automated parts of your job that probably should have been automated in the first place, but maybe there wasn't the budget or maybe there wasn't enough technical staff to be able to write those automations and, and they had to be done by hand. One of the biggest things I think is metrics and telemetry. That area of cybersecurity, writing reports, analyzing reports, I think those three things if they were automated by AI, that would probably save so, so much time from the cybersecurity professionals who are currently working on the job and they would be able to do so much more with professional development, with expanding their cybersecurity program features, providing more support to customers, various different things. I know there's pros and cons with any kind of new technology that's in the market, but personally, I think AI is still going to be a good thing, even for cybersecurity professionals and even with the many articles stating that AI is going to replace all your jobs. Personally, again, I don't think that they're going to replace a job specifically, but they may replace certain skill sets of the jobs that you're working in. And for some sectors and jobs, that could be a big chunk of what your job responsibilities of your title may be. But for other sectors like cybersecurity, I don't think it will be as significant as, as your company replacing all of your cybersecurity staff just to use some kind of AI tool or multiple AI tools. Okay, so I've been on a little bit of a ramble for what I think about this whole ChatGPT and cybersecurity topic that's been buzzing in the news. So going into this article specifically, so first things first to note is that AI and cybersecurity is not technically a new thing. There are many tools and vendors that are already using AI in their tooling and right now ChatGPT and OpenAI just happen to be very big buzzwords in mainstream media. And that is why many companies who previously may have already had some kind of AI in their products plus companies 
companies who have never even considered using AI or maybe were a little bit behind are now all talking about it and it's become kind of like the forefront because this is what customers are going to ask questions about because this is currently the latest and greatest. So in this article specifically for the question of whether or not AI is going to replace your job, they specifically answered yes and no, which I can kind of agree with. I don't think there's ever a black and white. Yes, this AI tool is going to 100% replace your job because because who's going to validate the results of the tool? Who's going to configure and use the tool? Who's going to update the tool if it's an on-prem solution? Who's going to work with the product and sales team for new feature requests? Based on this article, they've mentioned that CISOs and the cybersecurity team can often outsource for a managed service or a specific tool that may replace a certain function of a cybersecurity team. But again, I think this goes back to what I mentioned in the beginning about replacing certain skill sets rather than replacing the cybersecurity staff itself. Now, of course, there may definitely be companies who find that there is this really cool cybersecurity tool that works for them 100% and maybe they have a downsizing of their cybersecurity team or maybe they pivot part of their team to work on other things that maybe there aren't any AI tools for or needs a person to be able to do the job. Now, of course, if you're talking about automated robot servants that may be a thing, you know, in the next 20, 50 years, who knows, then that could be a completely different scenario where a robot is completely taking over the job of a person. That I think would be the only way to personally convince me that AI is going to completely take over a cybersecurity job. But maybe I am also being a little bit optimistic. I do think that because we're so early in the phase of using AI and so many different tooling and these new tools that we're adding to the market, it'll definitely take a few years to be able to see the impact of what that job growth or job decline looks like in the cybersecurity field. But I do agree with the article that there are going to be parts of the cybersecurity team that can definitely be automated to a service that is built on top of an AI model. All right, so this is the juicy part of the article specifically that I wanted to touch on. They did list a group of cybersecurity jobs that they think will be obsolete with the growth of ChatGPT and other AI-based tooling. They listed pretty general cybersecurity roles, and these are specifically cybersecurity engineers, SOC analysts or incident response, vulnerability management, vulnerability assessments, and SIEM engineers, cybersecurity documentation, and IT auditing. So some of these roles on their list are more so skill sets and not necessarily jobs. I wouldn't say that cybersecurity documentation is a specific role at a company, unless you're talking specifically about technical writing and you are working as a technical writer for specifically a cybersecurity team. So let's go through some of these together. I would also love to hear you guys' thoughts. If you guys are following along with the article, let me know in the comments below what you think, especially if you're currently working in one of these roles or interested in going into one of these sectors. So if you read their article, number one, they stated cybersecurity engineers, but they did give kind of like an asterisk of hey, this is only for the people who are copying and pasting certain code, and I'm quoting them specifically, closing tickets, downloading, emailing reports to IT, nothing in the job that cannot be easily automated or cut down. So, so they are talking about the automation piece that I agree could definitely be cut down, um, but I don't necessarily believe that this is what cybersecurity engineers do on a regular basis. I don't think they're typically copying and pasting the same emails or alerts. Um, that may be more of like a junior security analyst role, I think that they're talking about, or even an IT analyst role at this point. So I don't think I would agree with them here, but I will say that there are definitely parts of, again, the cybersecurity role that can definitely be automated. And I think it's a win-win for both sides, for the tooling and the cybersecurity professional. So this one is where it gets interesting. SOC slash incident response. They're talking about specifically the jobs that involve responding to alerts, updating blacklists in a product, and not necessarily the SOC analysts who do deep level analysis or forensics, that you need human involvement. So this I do agree with. I'm sure there are also parts of the analysis that an AI tool could probably take over more than 50% of, and basically create kind of like an enhanced dashboard for an SOC analyst to go look at and be able to view only anomalies, for example, and not necessarily have to dig through multiple, you know, thousands of lines of logs to be able to find information that an AI could find very, very quickly. So for vulnerability assessments and SIEMs, this is where I do agree that a majority of the work can definitely be automated. In fact, I'm sure many companies have tried to automate their vulnerability management process many, many times, but when it comes to budget restraints, environments that may just be a little bit too big or a little bit too complex to use one tool and upgrade and patch every single every single asset, hardware, software, 
firmware in your environment it looks very different you know when you see it that way but if you're using an ai tool that is able to categorize and look at those assets and be able to know hey this is a software that needs that needs to be patched at xyz interval or this is hardware this is a windows machine and that needs to be patched on patch tuesdays this is where i agree that a lot of vulnerability assessments and anything related can definitely be automated and then maybe with some human interaction when it comes to validating and confirming that the procedures that they're following are still correct and make sure that there aren't any and making sure that there aren't any red flags or things that may go wrong so lastly in terms of it auditing personally i think specifically for their comment ChatGPT is great at creating audit programs for everything from windows to aws i agree as more and more environments move to the cloud and managed services model IT auditors will need to become smarter to stay relevant. I think this one is kind of like, I'm kind of on the fence about. I do agree that ChatGPT can definitely tell you, hey, if there was a tool out there, for example, that will tell you, hey, these are the things in your environment that aren't compliant to your future audit, whether it's SOC 2 or ISO or HIPAA or PCI or whatever other compliance thing that you're trying to follow. Um, it really depends on what you're trying to do and what your environment looks like. But if there was a tool that does that and is able to also automatically collect that evidence for you for your audits, I'm sure most companies will want to use that tool because audits are just very lengthy, very complicated. A lot of teams and evidence gathering and procedures and documentation that needs to be collected for an audit. While I don't think that it'll 100% take over a job of an IT auditor, again, maybe this is one of those roles that may have downsized teams if they are able to onboard this tool where maybe the evidence gathering may not be as tedious so maybe you need a smaller team but again a lot of evidence gathering is from separate development teams or engineering teams or whatever teams that you're working with and not specifically by the IT auditor themselves they're typically the ones managing the program the auditing program and not necessarily the ones doing the hands-on work like, you know, pulling data from AWS or Azure or wherever you're storing data, wherever you're gathering your evidence from. So this one, I think I'm kind of on the fence about, but, but there are definitely ways that AI can enhance this process, especially because a lot of it is very manual for a lot of companies, especially smaller ones who are just starting with their different auditing programs. But I still think that there are parts of it that will probably have to stay manual and you probably will still need some kind of human who is leading phone calls, who is leading the calls, who is following up with teams on what evidence they need to gather, speaking directly to the third party auditor that is doing the audit because they probably will not be talking directly to an AI chatbot for those specific things. So yeah, these are my thoughts and some things that I've seen on different articles and different posts I've seen for cybersecurity and, and AI. Personally, I think this is a big positive for the field. And again, I don't think necessarily that AI is going to replace your job I think it's more so going to replace certain skill sets and certain aspects of your job. But in the end, that'll make your job easier because because then you end up with having all the manual stuff that you didn't want to do as part of your job in the first place being automated and then giving you back time to be able to spend on more important things and more important aspects of your job to drive your cybersecurity program forward and also be able to work on those stretch projects and professional development that that you probably never had the time to do because it was spent because so much of it was spent on those manual tasks that could definitely have been automated. All right, so that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about AI, ChatGPT, and cybersecurity roles, whether it's in the next five, 10 years or the next 20 to 50 years, because because again, depending on your time frame, that's going to look very different. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. Let me know in the comments below also if there are any specific video topics that you would like to see from me. I'm trying to get like a more refined backlog of what videos I might want to work on and hopefully ones that you guys are most interested in seeing that may also benefit you based on wherever you are in your career. Thank you guys again so so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!